Hi there, it's Dr. Sarah Larson filling in for Dr. Parthenia Grant. Oh my gosh, are we in for a brilliant, brilliant time today. You are with um, me and Ken Sheet. <laughs> Ken Sheet is a dear friend of mine and we've done so much work together. I actually consider him a brother and so he popped yes. in this weekend for our kid's birthday party and I <laughs> could not resist but having him on the show. I saved the space for today oh, knowing, that's wonderful, yeah. knowing you would say yes. So Ken <laughs> Sheets is founder of Dream Shield. He's got a brilliant social media company called Buzz Bros that does some pretty amazing work. Um, we're going to get into Dream Shield social media and just how amazing one person's life um, can be, how amazing your life can be yeah. when you really listen to the um, longing and the tuggings that are happening in your heart. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Ken Sheets. Yes, it's so great to be back with you, Sarah. And, uh, what a surprise. Yeah, I, uh, I just came to see you and the kids because uh, I, I have two kids of my own. I know how fast they grow up. and. Boy, little Jasmine, she's like uh, getting to be a little lady already. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my once eight year old is now a nine year old, and yeah. um, she really loved Ken and Ken and Jazzy did a lot of filming um, with her singing. Yeah. And uh, one of her videos, the one of her at Agape that you did with Buzz Bros. Uh -huh. Um, everywhere she goes, she tells people, I'm on YouTube, and, and she has them look right, her Patrick up. Patrick Flanagan, I love that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's so, so amazing. And then yeah. um, same thing with Tyler. It's just a, yeah. another amazing thing for him to experience you, too, to yeah. kind of climb all over you when he was a lot younger and now <laughs> around his birthday to watch him be a seven-year-old. Yeah. Did he pinch his finger yesterday in the chair game? Is that he why did. he's crying? He, yeah. um, <laughs> we were playing musical chairs, and he, he pinched his finger. And he doesn't like Ouch. for he yeah. doesn't like for people to see him being uh, upset. So he kind of goes away. That's so and sweet. Then, <laughs> I'm like, where are you going, Tyler? <laughs> he calms himself down, and then he comes yeah. back, and we you know, re like regroups. And I think that's such a great way. Yeah. Um. I want to bring up all the different things that we've done together because mm -hmm. there's still and out there. There's lots more to do. <laughs> uh, on the Internet, and there's yeah. so much coming up. Yeah. You're the first person that I've met that's been to Antarctica, uh -huh, yeah. uh, um, <laughs> which is such an exciting thing. You've traveled the world in this spiritual quest for Dream Shield. Yeah. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about Dream Shield? Well, Dream Shield began in uh, Italy, and uh, I was... Uh, in a yoga hall, uh, and you've been to Italy a lot in the last couple of years too. It's a very mm -hmm. magical place, and I was uh, uh, had just gone through you know a rough time in 2009 when the economy crashed. I have a film business that completely all the investors dried up overnight, and so I'm like had to reinvent myself, and I came up with BuzzBros.com, the social media company, and. Almost immediately, I began uh, through our mutual friend Bradley Quick, who sadly passed a year ago. And uh, uh, he he was the one who sent me to Italy in his place. Uh, I don't know why he did that. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you go <laughs> and go to Italy? I think he was, you know, uh, really trying to put me on a fast track to uh, awakening because yeah. I was very much in the matrix. I, I was from Chicago. I had, you know, had a successful real estate Built career. Built Oprah Winfrey Studio, yeah. Um, a yeah. amazing architect. It's so yeah. amazing. Some of the m largest buildings in Chicago have I your name. At least the, a lot of the largest buildings in Chicago and built one. Yes. Uh, that came and got me. It was called One North Franklin. I call it One North Franklin Stein because... Uh, it went. It was the first of all the building. Every building in Chicago went back to the lender in the 90s. Most people don't know that. And I was the pioneer, <laughs> the first uh, poster child for the uh, real estate crash of the 90s. And uh, But that, uh, that sent me on a path of saying, you know what, I've spent such a long time you know, in real estate. I'm an artist, uh, an interior architect uh, for corporate. Uh, stuff done big headquarters and everything and and uh, that you know I wanted to get back to something artistic so uh, I fell in love with a Canadian film producer Nicolette Sena who yes. taught me a lot about the film business met John Amadeo who produced uh, a lot of big shows out here uh, still does he's the number one 
uh, one of the top ten line producers in Hollywood. Uh, Arrested Development is his most famous show. Yes. And we produced a show together called Discover Me about actors and the struggle to make in Hollywood. And I was doing pretty well, but then that 2009 crash happened, and I was literally looking for a, a couch to surf on for a couple of weeks while I sort of Going regrouped. from that multi-million dollar mm-hmm. lifestyle to a couch to surf on. Yeah, and yeah. then um, what's fascinating about your life is every everywhere that you, when you needed to shift, life would crash whatever you were working on so you were able to shift. Um, just to mention Oprah, yeah. you went to high school with Oprah. You built um, yeah, the yeah. Harpo Studios in Chicago that yeah. um, then the Frankenstein <laughs> happened. And then out here in L.A., you've made um, so many great movies, shorts. And documentaries. And yeah, documentaries, feature, features. Yeah, been on PBS and... I thought I was on a smooth track, and then uh, all of a sudden, 2009 was just uh, brutal. Yeah. All my all my money comes from my fellow real estate builders in Chicago, <laughs> you know, or <laughs> rich guys that own the Hancock Building and you know the Sears Tower and stuff like that, which is now the Willis Tower. But yeah, and they all were so damaged by the 2009 recession. All my my one source of capital just dried up overnight. And then you moved into this real beautiful spiritual realm that we're working in now yeah. with creating mm-hmm. um, basically a oneness experience. Exper- our mm-hmm. first event was 10, 10, 10 um, at Dr. Robert Kassar's ranch, this beautiful ranch that's gridded with crystals. Um, yeah. And uh, what was your experience like with 10, 10, 10? How did that come about for you? And well, um, I, I had gone to uh, Italy, and then, and then I had told you the story of the Blue Angels. And that's actually one of our most popular videos on YouTube, you, you talking about the blue energy yes. of the uh, angels and so forth. And uh, um, I, I saw these angels build this force field around the planet, which I call Dream Shield. Yes. And uh, uh, I was interesting how I was even guided to that name. I, was, I wanted to call it something else but that name was not domain available and i was like well it looks like a force field a shield you know i'll I'll call it dream shield and i was told in italy by these extraterrestrials that appeared in this yoga hall during a a healing with julia who i'm going to see again in january for the first time since 2010 that uh i should do events on 10 10 10 11 11 11 12 12 12 and uh the latest thing is they want me to go back to Antarctica on 12, 13, 14, like a year from now. Wonderful. Yeah. This amazing, um, and it's, Dream Shield is meditation groups getting together. And mm-hmm. Yeah, they told me that too. They said, hold these uh, it's a meditation events. And Sarah Larson is um, the person that I talked to first about this, and she's like, I can help you put together this 10, 10, 10 event. And I was like, it was only like, it was only like three months till 10, yeah. 10, 10. I didn't know how you were going to do it. Yeah. And then one day you called and said, I have this ranch in <laughs> that this fellow is donating to us, this Robert Kassar, who I'd never met, who's just an amazing character in himself, yes. like a Dr. Flanagan that I'm working for. And uh, uh, he donated the this beautiful, how many acre ranch? Um, 40 acres, <laughs> that, that just crystal ed. And this ranch is so amazing. There's not one bug, although there's yeah, tons the of horse ant- stables surround uh, it. Uh, horse stables. There's um, it's a rescue farm as well. Uh, mm-hmm. Beautiful turtles, beautiful snakes, beautiful amazing yeah. things. Robert Kassar is one of the few people that I know that's been bitten by a deadly, deadly snake yeah. and survived. Um, it was a king cobra or something, wasn't it? It was a king cobra yeah. and um, survived beautifully and even became stronger afterwards. Yeah. Uh, th- there's so many stories that we could share. <laughs> Ten 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 was yeah. quite beautiful. Well, that it was. and um, Sarah is a profound uh, meditator and and the fact that uh, you picked up on on that, uh, I stayed kind of in the background in that event and just sort of you know had my camera going and I'm glad I captured the whole thing uh, because I still was like reeling. I mean, seeing extraterrestrial angels and uh, having them speaking to me, uh, you know, 
my kids have never yeah. recovered from my talking about the story. <laughs> I probably blew their minds when I came straight from Italy to see my kids. Uh, What's amazing uh, is on um, my Facebook, I have a picture of an angel that I showed you yesterday. Yeah. Um, very much the blue light. Um, yeah. And it's really interesting to be able to tune into that frequency. And much of what's been shared by Edgar Casey's the prophecies, all of the things that have been said, it's been said, it's the common person mm -hmm. that will bring about the ability to connect and save the planet. Um, mm -hmm. The Dalai Lama, and uh, again, prophecies have said it's the women of the West uh, that yeah. can bring about the healing on the planet. Yeah. Um, the extraterrestrial angel beings, uh, um, there's just this energy uh, resonant frequency that we can tune into yeah. and we now have um so much uh, information dorian virtues information yeah. um dr dorian virtue where she talks about it so many people coming together and so i know that um your work right now with patrick flanagan mm -hmm. is really uh, focusing in on how we can start tuning in ourselves all of us to be able to connect with and see yeah. the, um, those higher frequencies yeah. that normally are not seen by the eyes. For, for we only see a very small fraction. I, for, I forget what the percentage is, but it's under 10%. It's under 10% that we're able to see yeah. through our eyes the, the rainbow mm -hmm. frequency. We can't see radio waves. We yeah. can't see the microwave energy. Um, and it's really interesting that our planet has a frequency that is now so strong that we have to go back to earth humans that receive our radio broadcasting mm. we receive and broadcast frequency ourselves mm -hmm. but it's imbalanced based on the electromagnetic field generated from radio from cell phone towers it's the effect that we're seeing with amplified amplified well. yeah and yeah. so you it's more important than ever for us to begin balancing those parts of ourselves that we can balance. Spending time barefoot in earth, yeah. gardening, um, like our producer is so brilliant, he was talking about gardening and how much that brings you back to your own and to the earth frequency. Wonderful, yeah, my brother was a huge gardener, yeah. Awesome, and so tell me a little bit about Patrick Fla uh, Flanagan. Patrick Flanagan, uh, um, is a reincarnation of Nikola Tesla. He woke up in his baby crib, just to start the story from the beginning, looking at his toes and saying, oh my God, I'm a baby again. I've got to grow this body up before I can continue my work. Uh, there have been uh, validations of his Tesla reincarnation. And, and it, what's really interesting about reincarnation, it's just not, there's not one Tesla reincarnation. Yes. There's many, you know, and he's, you know, he has no huge ego about it. But he, he was blessed with uh, remembering most of the inventions. And they tested uh, where they had a, a blueprint in a vault, and they asked him to describe it. Uh, Tesla, you know, hidden technology, and Patrick described it perfectly. So he's one of the validated uh, Tesla reincarnations. And then at age, uh, uh, you know, five years old, he began doing his first inventions when he was starting to be big enough. So. It's such an amazing thing. Well, we're going to talk about reincarnation. We're going to talk about Patrick Flanagan, yeah. Tesla, and um, more importantly, all the technology that's coming out. Yeah. Thank you for joining us this morning on CRN, Divine Love Talk, with Dr. Sarah Larson. We've got Ken Sheets in the house. He's with Buzz Bros and um, working with Patrick Flanagan. Please join us after the break. We are so excited to share all of the wisdom and information coming through. This is Dr. Sarah Larson. And we're back. Dr. Sarah Larson with Ken Sheet in the house. In the house. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about reincarnation. It's so 
Um, it's one of those concepts. Again, mm -hmm. when you talk about angels and we talk about reincarnation, um, it's not in mass media anywhere, and it's not really focused. And it, some people just turn off, and some people just turn on yeah. when we talk about it. When you were in Chicago, and someone would have said angels to you, when you were in you know, um, the architect, builder, right, mode. Uh, <laughs> financer mode, what would yeah. you have said? I would have said you're crazy. You know, and I thought I was crazy myself. Uh, you know, when when this all started to happen, and then I found this huge community of people like yourself. You know, who uh, who just said, "No, no, you're you're just waking up. <laughs> <laughs> You've been asleep in the matrix." Yeah. And so many people have an uh -huh. understanding of. Wow, there's, this has always interested me, even though a part of me hasn't believed it. Yeah. That's what I get so often. Mm -hmm. And then when they start remembering for themselves and start connecting into those frequencies, yeah. um, communicating and understanding reincarnation. Yeah, there's a lot of old wisdom you can regain you yes. know, from your past lives. Yeah. It's like having outfits and different costumes mm -hmm. that you've worn over time. You might not need them in this life, but they leave yeah. a resonance. Yeah. One of the things that um, there, Ian Stevenson did studies on reincarnation. There's uh, 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 so many people that did, oh. but he he studied 20 children, wow. so, uh, and they were under five, and they were able to recall specific events, mm -hmm. um, parts of towns far away. They were able to recall past things that they had created yeah. um, solve mysteries of their own death um, one had lighter features than the rest of their family he went on to go study even further and um, some of the uh, the birthmarks were marks from previous uh, lifetimes where they uh, the oh. person had been injured and they had oh. corresponding um, birthmarks to the injury and to the wound wow. And it's an amazing thing to understand. Um, we carry, we, we've, we're minimum 4.3 billion years old with the Earth. Uh, because energy is never created or destroyed. Yeah. That's right. the minimum that we are. We ha get these bodies, um, at m much like vehicles, yeah. and our vehicle that is run by the DNA, by our thoughts, and by our emotion, has within it, all of these binding parts that are remem able to remember and project out past cars, past bodies that we've driven. And the DNA communicates with other DNA. It's possible to have, mm. when a being passes, to choose to come back into multiple forms. And that's how there can be multiple Tesla reincarnations yes. or multiple um, uh, uh, St. Francis of Assisi or Edgar Cayce mm -hmm. um, reincarnations. It's all consistent with the choice that you make on the other side and having had that effect in the life that you're in now. Um, That's very interesting. Yeah, uh, we can we can talk uh, yeah. talk more about that. I want to yeah. talk about. Tell me about the neurophone. The neurophone is uh, a device that Patrick invented at the age of thirteen. Uh, he, after seeing a uh, reading a science fiction novel by Gernsback that had the device in it, and he was like, "Oh, I would really love this device that would make me smarter, that would make me read faster, better." retain more knowledge so he went out and invented it and uh but you know and, and that's not something a normal 13 year old child can do of course because <laughs> the circuitry uh, it works with a um uh an electrode that they put on on the on the temporal lobes here yes and it's con uh, controlled by a small uh, device that sends the frequency into your brain goes to your saccules behind your ears yes and uh it makes a profound balancing between the left and right brain functions, increases blood flow to the brain by three times, uh, which is amazing when you think about it, right? 300% yeah. more <laughs> blood going into your brain. And uh, it's proven by universities uh, that to have raised intelligence. And uh, up till now, uh, he, he went through some patent battles, you know, in the 70s and 80s, and then it became on the market. Uh, it's been an $800 uh, purchase. Uh, but with this new crowdfunder we're going to launch in uh, January, it's going to be only $99 for a neurophone. 
That's so amazing, and part of the reason for that is to really make it, uh, we believe in oneness. We yeah. want everyone well, to come yeah. along. And when we come back from break, mm-hmm. we're going to talk more about the neurophone. We're going to talk yeah. about balancing of the brains, the masculine and feminine, and yeah. even more with Ken Sheep. Yeah. We're so glad that you guys are joining us. We're going to talk about some other fun stuff that you going to feel like you're remembering. Great. This is Divine Love Talk, <laughs> CRN with Dr. Sarah Larson and Ken Chi. It's Dr. Sarah Larson in the house with Ken Chi. <laughs> um, we are just, uh, even in the break, we're having these amazing conversations. We wish you could listen in, <laughs> and it feels like we're probably going to do some other work um, after this show yeah. while you're in town. I'd love to set that up, especially yeah. talking about um, more around reincarnation. Mm-hmm. Reincarnation, growing up in the East, it's something that I grew up with, and it w- it's much like connecting to all parts of the seen and unseen it's in the culture there that um very much there's temples built if a child remembers his past you take him mm-hmm. to this temple mm-hmm. and allow him to uh, um really carnate into the body in this one mm-hmm. um more and more in the west we're connecting and understanding reincarnation through this um, analyzing it and cataloging it. Uh, That's the West. Isn't that's, it? <laughs> yeah, it's the, um, very, and I call it the masculine energy, yeah. very masculine way that we're looking at things here. And yeah. um, but very interesting. not an old concept either. The Catholic churches mm-hmm. had reincarnation as part of their um, written tradition passed down. Yeah. And so it's it's been present for a long, long time. It's just a re-understanding of it. I have a friend that, who is a dear friend that says, I don't believe in reincarnation in this life. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's a hilarious statement. <laughs> um, that... Um, as we're talking, we're focusing in on all of these different carnations that come in. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. There's this realization that all time is now. Yeah. All of our lives are happening simultaneously uh, because only the now really truly exists. Mm-hmm. That's the only place our body is anchored. Um, all of us are anchored in this one present moment mm-hmm. with um all of the past lives occurring in the now, uh, activating through our body, and all of our future selves happening simultaneously. Yeah. Um, as we're sitting right here, all of those possibilities existing, and those possibilities existing connect in with multiple beings. Yeah. Um, and that's why there can be so many incarnations of Tesla, incarnations of Edgar Casey and St. Francis, mm-hmm. because those are all th- um, that, through quantum physics, that understanding of potential, those are all the beings that have are occurring. Yeah. Uh, the thing that always impressed me about you is your uh, combination of uh, science and spirit. Uh, and uh, that's, of course, Patrick Flanagan in a nutshell. Uh, a fully awakened uh, inventor who uh, really invents products like the Neurophone that uh, are meant to counteract, uh, say, the dumbing down of, of populace. Uh, yes. This will be a device that be anyone could afford a $99 Neurophone, uh, which will raise intelligence. He also does, you know, hydration products because we're, we're being terribly dehydrated yes. by our sugars and our caffeines and all these different things. And so... Um, when you connect with spirit and science and the oneness of time, you know, I mean, what, what was the toy, term we cur- coined on the we break? We just coined omni-self. 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 Yeah. That's yeah. really what we're experiencing is our self is all of these possibilities everywhere all at once. Yeah. Once you tune in the mind's frequency to match um, the blood flow that's possible to match what's possible there, Um, It's really important to talk about um, masculine and feminine. It's important to talk about left brain and right brain when we talk about... Negative, positive. Negative, positive. The neurophone, 
is something that I hear you sharing is possible to balance the right brain and the left brain. Yeah. And in our Western culture, we have a strong um, left brain or masculine brain predominance. Yes. In the East, there's more of a, f um, a, a feminine um, energy to the brain work and right brain, mm -hmm. but even there, it's still more dominant uh, um, and becoming more dominant as television, as newspapers, as the mass media it, that's available all over. As the result of Eastern philosophies being on the internet, of being present here now for over 40 years in this country, um, in the West as well, it's so available now, but still to kind of go through it very, very quickly, we need these technologies that balance our brain. Mm -hmm. When we're using the left brain, we're going very quickly from task to task to task, from point to point to point, and not necessarily being as creative very as we can. Very linear can. thinking, yeah. Very mm -hmm. linear, very on um, purpose in one direction. Yeah. Uh, when I was going to build a skyscraper, nothing was going to stop me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just get out of my way. <laughs> yes. Um, and it's amazing because you've got such a, a huge, when you want to do something, accomplish it, that shows up so beautifully. And I've got such yeah. a right brain um, yeah. in terms of whatever it is that I'm going to create, the creativity comes in. This um, mm -hmm. f seeing the big picture comes in. Um, being able to have a balance between seeing the big picture and I marking think that, that 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 criticizes where true manifestation true manifestation occurs yeah. the right brain half being able to connect yeah. things that don't necessarily make sense uh, uh, that would occur in the left brain yeah. if you were analyzing it but when you look at it from the right brain more becomes available when we have more blood going to our brain, we actually think more solutions creatively, um, and we are able to pinpoint the, the steps to make that big picture come to life. Yes. Yeah. B the balancing is very important. The New Age community uh, could be neutralized by being too much in their right brain. Yes. And we need that left brain to be able to implement the, the genius of the right brain. Yes, basically. absolutely. Yeah. The, w um, the oneness movement, having the omni-self movement that mm -hmm. uh, we just coined right here, <laughs> balanced masculine, feminine, living all timelines yeah. possible in the moment. Timelines, too. Well, let's not even go there. <laughs> yeah. Living all of those yeah. um, b uh, consistently yeah. comes from um, dropping into your heart. Your heart yeah. has this electromagnetic field. But mm -hmm. um, most importantly, being able to balance your thinking. Uh, HeartMath did a lot of studies, and I'm sure this is something Patrick Flanagan would uh, go into as well, mm -hmm. that um, the energy of our heart being in balance makes more blood flow available to the brain. Mm -hmm. And you can do, a if you can put an electronic on a system yeah. on that brings more of that um, right. you're able to see the higher frequencies you're able to think more clearly remember yeah. more yeah um, and he does all of his inventing in a, um, a virtual reality in his mind which is uh, inside of a pyramid and these he has a laboratory there with all of its test tubes and he works on things and then when he's ready to bring it out into the real world, that's how he does it. It's amazing of what's available. Yeah. Um, and we've done so many studies there. They've come about since um, Germany, uh, before pre-World War. Germany brought about and was studying so much of what our brain is capable of. Mm -hmm. Olympians, um, they... Uh, 
were outranging all the other countries from Germany for mm -hmm. quite some time. And when their, the head of the team was analyzed, he talked about how he would run his athletes through the, exper the exercises, through the games, in their mind wow. first. Yeah. They had an inner track or an inner place that they played um, these sports right. out, <laughs> much like Patrick Flanagan. Yeah. Um, and for each of us, anyone listening... Even the simple things, like today, I visualized the route I would take to come to your interview, and I realized... Well, I'm actually manifesting like a, an experience. Yes, a very... And then I just get on the road and go now, <laughs> and it's all laid out in my mind already. It's very, um, very much like that. Very, very much like that. And using your brain's ability and using your heart's ability and using what happens at a DNA level, mm -hmm. when you create it in your mind and it's a peaceful experience in your mind, your DNA actually mm -hmm. lengthens. Wow. Um, it's wow. one of, uh, when you're in a space of gratitude and mm -hmm. appreciation, literally your DNA gets longer. Mm -hmm. And longevity studies show that if you, um, the longer your DNA is, the longer the tail part is, the longer you have to live and wow. experience life. Yeah. Humans have the ca capacity to live at least 900 years old. This is uh, Harvard studies, Yale studies, yeah. um, studying the body. And yeah, well, you're the master of the palm and all that. And um, mm -hmm. palmistry actually shows... Yeah, um, my lifeline goes all the way around the back back of my hand. This is <laughs> <laughs> it's such a cool experience for yeah. me to read palms yeah. and have the medical doctor science behind it and share with people what that experience, um, yeah. all those timeline possibilities and being able to share exactly what's possible for them uh, where they don't it's so fun when you're like wow you predicted that that was so cool to have that experience yeah each person is able to do this as well through tapping in having more access to well, their it's brain interesting the way our bodies well you you know about body testing of course our bodies know so much that we take we, we just take it as for granted that it's just a, you know something we walk around in, but the body has intelligence of its own. And uh, it's palm, palm lines are like a map of that, isn't it? The, yeah. the palms are, and it's an amazing thing with, um, there's certain places in your body that you can read all of your, your eyes, your hands, your thumb as well. Yeah. Um, there's b points, and it's, occurs in the east you don't plan a wedding without going and connecting with and finding out the best times yeah. that people just why in the west do you think we think so much of the things of the east are superstitious uh, what? well today we're finding the science to prove it yeah. but initially things that aren't understood are shunned mm -hmm. until they're understood and they're labeled miracles um, until there's a science behind it. And much of what we've learned today has been from the, the people that just put their foot down and said, no, this is, this is it, this is what I know. Yeah. Um, and many, many have died for that, Tesla included, for the technology that he knew, mm -hmm. giving up their life um, in that form. Yeah. Dr. Flanagan said several death attempts on it. Uh, um, and part of that, it, not fearing death is part of that importance. If you get that you've been around yeah. for 4.3 billion years <laughs> and yeah. um, energy is never created or destroyed and you're going to continue on and you let go of fear, oh, fear yeah. of ever n not being here and utilizing all of your energy to move the flow of life move mm -hmm. the flow of the people that have been in your life, yeah. um, you really get how powerful you are as a, a living being, um, having a form to take on to experience things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so great to see you again. <laughs> oh, same here. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, we had a profound uh, connection there through Dorothy Donahue and... Yes. Filippo Voltaggio, I'll send out a hello to the, my friends there. I'm having a little uh, uh, cocktail reception at the Sheraton tonight, uh, where I'm staying at the Universal Sheraton. Anyone's welcome, even if they're not uh, someone who's ever met me. And we're just going to have a bottle of champagne and we'll see how <laughs> long it lasts. And uh, uh, it'll be at 8 
8 p.m. tonight, and I hope you and Greg might be able to oh. do that. I know you got such busy plans; it's last minute. But yeah. that, thank you so yeah. much. Thank yeah. you. I would highly, highly encourage anyone that's out there, anywhere close <laughs> to the Sheraton Universal, to come yeah. out yeah. and um, celebrate. Celebrate, yeah. Uh, celebrate yeah. the Omni Self. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Yeah. And Patrick it has a power to it. I think we came up with something amazing here today at the Omni Self. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably already out there too. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And um all the dimensions how, all times. How do we find out more about you? How is anyone that's listening mm-hmm. connect with you? Well, I I have a great uh, Facebook page. It's just simply Ken Sheets and uh you see the guy with the white goatee, that's me. Uh, there's a couple of Ken Sheets around, but not too many. Uh, and Sheets is S H E E T Z. Z. Ken Sheets. And there's this very powerful Z creature that's been re- reaching me from Antares uh, named Zilf, <laughs> who's got a lot of work in resetting, uh, you know, the, the clock to zero here for us. You know, we're reaching the zero point that people talk about. Yeah. Z for zero and Zilf and. Yeah, it's very it's amazing to have these new uh, beings come in. And then I use the beings that I've talked to for a long time and say, "Is he okay?" Kind of like a reference. <laughs> 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 and uh, Zilf uh, Zilf is very big on the brain balancing that we've been talking about. Wonderful, yeah, yeah. wonderful. Um, ways that you can do this at home until you get the neurophone is mm-hmm. um, when you sit still and you breathe into your heart and you really bring your breath into your heart, the heart sends a signal to the brain Mm. to allow more blood flow. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's one of the best ways at home until you get the neurophone. uh, Patrick Flanagan. I call it techno meditation. uh, You can do these things without the devices, and Patrick will be the first one to tell you that. It's just it makes it easier and and enhances it. (laughs) Especially with all the broadcasting and the frequency that goes out already. Um, Ken Sheets on Facebook in CRN Studio it, with us on Divine Love Talk. We're sending out a sh- hello to Dr. Parthenia Grant as well, who I know is listening. We love you and we're so glad to be able to share all of this with um, all of, the, all of you, you listening. For, Come back for a, a short wrap-up. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Sarah Larson, we are wrapping up with Ken Sheets. You can find him on Facebook, Ken, K-E-N, Sheets, S-H-E-E-T-Z. And um, there is a f- group forming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've just got a couple minutes to talk about it. And so sure. give us all the important yeah. stuff, the need-to-know stuff. Well, you're going to see videos of Patrick Flanagan and his inventions, uh, including the Neurophone and how it works at uh, $99 Neurophone. And that's uh, on Facebook, $99 yeah. Neurophone. No, that's all you need to type in. And then it's uh, Volunteers for a Smarter America. We're looking for volunteers to blast the word out when we launch the crowdfunder in January, uh, or once we've reached 5000 if it takes a little longer. Uh, you can't build uh, a, a crowdfunder without doing the crowd ahead of time. It's kind of like going on a road trip and not yeah. having any gas money. You've got to have that crowd <laughs> in your pocket before you go on the road you know, with your crowdfunder. And uh, I, that's how I reached Antarctica, and that's how Patrick Flanagan and I connected. And people ask me, how did you know that to go to Antarctica? I said, they said, go to Antarctica. That's <laughs> <laughs> These spirits, you know said go there and, and counteract the negative uh, visualizations of the Mayan pole shift that you know they said it's not you know it's it's never it was never a prediction of the Mayans but so much of Hollywood you know yes. a part of the energy of uh, predicted it that I needed to go down there and do anti pole shift meditations and which is amazing that um, right now each of us can be able to create this harmon um, harmonization, this frequency mm-hmm. within ourselves, mm-hmm. um, an $800 invention being brought down to $99. $99. Anybody can afford it. And actually, Patrick will, even for people that can't afford $99, he's going to work out a way for you can get a neurophone for um, free. For free, uh, uh, volunteers coming in. Volunteers in help. Because yeah. really understanding the importance of each person, each person listening, each person that we connect with, understanding yeah. how important it is to really have 
the brain and just the mind. Just making one person smarter is amazing. Making millions of people smarter is, could change the world uh, overnight. Yes, yeah, it's just yeah. uh, such a gift to give. So $99 Neurophone yeah. on Facebook. On Facebook, the uh, group, yeah. Um, for uh, just as we're signing out, I'm just so grateful that you came in <laughs> and so excited to yeah. share all of this with yeah. um, all the stuff that you're working on and so many blessings for your continued journey for Dream Shield, for Buzz Bros, mm -hmm. and for all the great work you're doing. And the same for you. I, I hope uh, we have many uh, things that we continue to do together. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. I, I say yes to that. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> um, you can find Ken Sheets at, on Facebook, Ken Sheets. Yeah. S or at buzzbros.com. Or buzzbros. And you can find me, Dr. Sarah Larson, at www.drsarahlarson.com. That's www. D R S A R A H Larson L A R S E N dot com. Couldn't so they just Google amazing? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you. you. Big heart. Big, big, big heart. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> oh.